Hi, I'd like to tell you a little bit about this painting and the artist. Uh, the painting is called Our Lady of Sorrows and it was painted by Maria Izquierdo in 1943. Here is a photo of Maria Izquierdo and here is one of her self-portraits painted in 1940. And just for fun, here are the two portraits viewed side by side. Maria was born and grew up in and around San Juan de los Lagos in Mexico. This is an early photo of the area from Wikipedia. She was raised by her maternal grandparents and at the age of 14 was married by arranged marriage to a soldier. By age 17, she had three children. She and her husband went to Mexico City. And in 1925, she did something very unusual. Uh, she divorced her husband and she also enrolled in the School of Art. So she became a single mom. Uh, she needed to uh, provide for her three children and she decided to study art. All this at the young age of 23, when it was very rare for a woman to divorce her husband and very rare for a woman to study art. In fact, a very interesting thing happened during art school. Uh, Diego Rivera, who was by that time a famous artist, came to her class and looked at all the paintings uh, by the different students and pointed to hers and said, this is the only one. Her fellow students, who were mostly male, uh, were so angered and jealous by Diego Rivera pointing her out, picking her out, that they threw buckets of cold water on her. In her memoirs, she wrote, it's a crime to be born a woman. It's an even greater crime to be born a woman and to have talent. In 1930, she became the first female Mexican artist to have a show in the United States in New York. And she also had a painting in the Metropolitan Museum of Art and some traveling paintings in a traveling exhibition at that time. Her career progressed in 1945 though, there was a big setback for her. She had won the commission to do a mural in a government building, had the sketches done, had the scaffolding up, was preparing the surface of the wall. And then there was a campaign among uh, various artists, including Diego Rivera, who had previously supported her work, saying that she did not have the talent for this mural. And so after already having the contract, she lost the contract. Although during this episode, various other people supported her, her popularity uh, dropped considerably. And during the 40s, she had a couple strokes, which uh, paralyzed part of her body and caused some pain, but she continued to paint. Now let's look at the painting itself, the painting Our Lady of Sorrows. This is a painting of the home altar. In the 40s, she did a series of paintings of altars Home altars are still common among some Mexican families. Uh, you often see them in the news around the Day of the Dead, but this one in particular is dedicated to the Lady of Sorrows. In other words, to Mary, Mother of Jesus, and especially emphasizing the sorrows she had to go through as the Mother of Jesus. As I mentioned before, Maria Izquierdo was brought up by her grandparents and had a very traditional upbringing this is the Basilica of San Juan de los Lagos, and inside is an image of the Virgin Mary. This is the image. It's about 38 centimeters or 15 inches tall, and it's made of sugar paste. It was brought to the town in the late 1500s and housed in the early Basilica or the current Basilica until now. And there are various miracles ascribed to this image. The first miracle ascribed to this image uh, is said to have occurred in 1623. And what is said to have happened was there was a family of acrobats performing in San Juan de los Lagos. And in one of their acts, they did flips and stuff over a, uh, the ground covered with knives. And in one of these performances, the seven-year-old daughter in the family fell and was killed instantly, but the ladies of the town brought her to this image and she was revived. So those are the 
stories that Maria Izquierdo must have grown up with in San Juan de los Lagos. Much of her work portrays tradition, but it also celebrates the strength of women in Mexico and other countries. Uh, some have suggested that might be why her mural was so fought against, because it had as a center of the piece a woman with plans for the city of Mexico. So in this painting and in the things on the altar, there's um, quite a bit of symbolism. For example, the uh, bitter oranges represent the uh, Mary's sorrow, but they're often painted gold to represent the joy of Jesus's resurrection. The juice represents, again, the sweet tears of Mary, the liquid tears, and the green grass, which looks like, like chia grass, represents wheat, which represents Jesus as the bread of life. So I hope you have enjoyed this brief introduction to the painting Our Lady of Sorrows by Maria Izquierdo. Thanks for listening.